guys, what's up? It's Sammy, and welcome back to another haul video. Yes, that is right. I have more clothes. <laughs> Clearly, I need more clothes. <laughs> Anyways, this one is actually a little bit different. Today, I'm doing a try-on haul for you from the website Romwe. I'm probably thinking, Sammy, you've done this a million times before. How is it different? Well, everything in this video is strictly from the plus-sized section at Romwe. Now, I want to get into a little disclaimer before I start this video. I am not plus-size. I'm definitely considered average size. And when I shop in regular everyday stores, I do shop in the petite section because I am rather short. But when I expressed in my last video that I wanted to try out Romwe's plus-size clothes just to give you guys a little bit of like a, how good are they? What is the quality like? Are they actually plus size? Um, Y'all had an overwhelming response of yes, you wanted me to try Romwe's plus size thing. So I have a big order right here Ugh, and we're about to try everything on and give it our honest opinion and see what is actually up with Romwe's plus size section. I have ordered some things from their plus size section in the past uh, just to like get that oversized baggy look because I find with Romwe's clothing, um, if you want things to be oversized, you have to size up a couple sizes because it is Asian sized clothing. Um, usually, I'm not sure about the plus sizes. For instance, this tank top I'm wearing is one size fits all from Romwe and this jacket is a medium from their average sized range. Uh, but yeah, I have so many clothes and I'm super excited to get into them. But just a disclaimer, some of these clothes probably are gonna be too big for me, but just know that I will be passing them along to one of my friends or family members where they will actually fit and properly get use out of these clothes um, because I knew when ordering them that a lot of them weren't gonna work for me. Okay, let's get into the truck. The first thing I'm trying on is this yellow knit bell sleeve sweater. I tried to get everything in the plus size section in a 1XL or 0XL, and this one is in a 1XL, and I absolutely love this sweater. Sorry if I'm like looking at myself, um, but this is so cute. I love the ruffle detailing at the waist. I think it's really flattering for like this part of my body, and the sleeves are just so frilly and cute. I'm not sure if this is fitting me the way it is intended to fit. In my mind, when I ordered this, I had it more in the vision of like the really tight Brandy Melville button up crop sweater, um, but I kind of like the flowiness of it. And this comes up in bigger sizes. I just got it in the smallest. So yeah, overall, I'd give this yellow sweater like so many thumbs up. I think it's really good. Here is the next shirt that I got, and this is in a size 1XL. I'm not sure if I have this shirt on correctly though because it's like a wrap shirt, and I like wrapped it around. I don't know, it took me way too long to figure out how to put on. Um, I really like the quality of the shirt. It kind of reminds me of something I would get from like Yes Style. Downside is it has really low sides right here, so I don't know how wearable it would be to like school and stuff. Like you might get dress coded, but I think the little tie detail is super cute, even though I don't know if I did it right. <laughs> For being honest here, I really have no idea. This is the shirt. Uh, I definitely think because it is a wrap shirt, it can fit many different sizes. Like I have this wrapped completely around my body like a double time, but like if you couldn't, it would just be more like low cut, which I think could also be cute. Um, but yeah, I would also give this so many thumbs up. I think it's really cute and the quality is super nice. On to the next thing. Sticking with the like Brandy Melville grandma sweater theme, I got this pink like open knit sweater in a size 1XL. And I think this is really freaking cute. I love the color, as you can see, because you can still see my tank top underneath it. It is a bit see-through, which I personally don't mind. I think it's kind of cute. Don't know about school dress coats though, so you'd have to make that decision on your own. This sweater is super stretchy. So like, even if it wasn't your size in the biggest size, I feel like it would still fit comfortably because it has a lot of stretch to it. Um, ew. There's like a random black thread woven into my sweater. That's questionable. She is in all her glory. I have her tucked in a bit, but she is quite long. And I think she would even be really cute if we 
unbuttoned her. If my fingers would work for three seconds, please. Imagine wearing her open with like a cute tank top underneath like this one. That would also be quite a look. Maybe when it's like not winter so you can still have some breeze. So cute. Give this so many thumbs up. We have our first sizing inconsistency, my friends. Uh, so I got this tank top and I don't know if you can tell, but she is rather too big on me than anything else that we've ordered has been. And yet this is the smallest in the plus size. This is a zero XL. So this is just an extra large. It's not like a one XL, two XL, three XL. And I just think this is kind of a like very different size than everything else. I don't know if this is more true to what an extra large should be or not, but I don't know. I just think it's um, interesting. I think this would be cute on the right person. I don't think that person is me, but I'll let you choose the style of it on its own and I'll just rate it based on the quality, which is really nice. It's just this really light, like linen-y feeling material and it has these really cute wooden buttons all the way up the front. Keep in mind, I do think my tank top underneath it is ruining the effect a little bit. But yeah, I got this in a 0XL. It definitely is a um, basic piece that some people might really want to have in their wardrobe. On to the next item. Once again, I feel like this one is a bit of a sizing inconsistency as this is a 2XL, one of the larger end sizes I have tried on so far. And to me, this jacket fits like a Forever 21 large mite on me. It's just a bit oversized. It's not too big, it's not too small, but I can say it's freaking adorable. Just zips up. Do you like my style? Do you like my Canadian tuxedo? Um, I like it unzipped more, I have to say. But yeah, I absolutely love this denim jacket. It's like my new favorite denim jacket. I've already had it for a couple days and I've worn it so much. I love her. This is such a nice denim jacket, guys. We stan. Okay, this gets so many thumbs ups just for being a solid denim jacket. Also, the pocket is real. I had my phone in here when I was riding my bike like 20 minutes ago. It was freaking amazing. So would I recommend this jacket? Yes, I just don't know exactly how plus sized it is as I think there's only two more sizes above this and I don't know how much bigger it would get. For instance, when I go like this, it's a little tight on my elbows. So if you have really long arms and that's why you get plus size because you're really tall, I don't know about this. On to the next item. This next item is also a jacket. It's getting colder out, so it's only normal that I start buying way too many jackets, even though I live in Arizona. <laughs> I got this also in a size 2XL. I find I like to get bigger jackets. I just find that I love them more oversized and boxy. And I've been obsessed with the full neutrals look recently, so let me back up so you can see this whole jacket. So here is the jacket. I definitely would say this fits more true to size to a 2XL than that last jean jacket. You can just tell even by the length of the sleeves that it is just overall meant to fit a larger size. And it also has these really cute things to cinch it in. So let me just button her up. See, that is so cute. It has like these little cinched in sides now and it totally gives you a really cute, like relaxed figure. I'm looking in a mirror right there, sorry. Um, but it also even looks cute with those cinched in with it just like left open. This is so cute. This is like a staple blazer. Like if I wanted to make it maybe look a little bit more structured on me, I would just roll up the sleeves. And yeah, now I have, a, oh my God, are there pockets? <gasps> the pockets are real. <laughs> okay, this was gonna get like one thumbs up and now it gets seven because the pockets are real. I really like this jacket. I think it looks really cute with this whole ensemble I have going on right now. Um, maybe not the jeans, maybe I'd throw on some lighter wash jeans. I love this jacket, I think it's super cute. Um, yeah. 10 recommend. Also beige. I love beige recently. 200 degrees outside though, so sorry jacket. Okay, we just got really dark in here. Hello? Can the clouds come out? Hi. Okay, next we have this sweatshirt and it's just a sweatshirt with this like twisty detail in the front and I got this in a size 1XL. And here she is on the model. It was definitely more cropped and like this in the front, but I definitely don't mind it like this. This is a super comfy uh, sweater. Definitely mimics something you would find at like Brandy Melville right now. Sorry, let me pull my hair out. You guys hate that when I just don't do that for some reason. I think it's super comfy. It's super light and airy. Once again, the sleeves, pretty long. So if you have longer arms than me, which most people do, I think it'll be nice on you. And yeah, it's super comfy. I love the crisscross detailing in the front. I think it adds something. And yeah, 
super cute. Once again, give it a bunch of thumbs up. I feel like I should keep in mind though, this feels like it would shrink in the washing and drying machine and I haven't washed or dried any of these yet. So buyers beware. If you do purchase, be careful. Okay, I have some pants to try on. So I'm gonna put on like a full outfit and we're gonna do both items at the same time. The next thing I got is super cute and it's this Tommy New York 1985 uh, tank top. I got this in a 2XL and as you can clearly see it is way too big on me obviously. I don't wear a size 2XL but I do think this is super cute and I'm actually really sad because I want it to be like a cute little tiny crop top like Brandy Melville style once again um, but it isn't and that's okay. I'm gonna pass it along to one of my friends and I think she is going to love it but um, it really isn't that much big. I just there's a yeah okay <laughs> I could certainly get away with wearing this though I just don't usually wear clothes that are ill-fitting on me I don't think it's flattering um the next thing is this skirt and I also got this in a 2xl um I have it rubber band up in the back so that it wouldn't fall down while I was filming but I will unrubber band it and show you its proper size this is really cute it's one of those skirts with like the bu the buckle style belt and then it has like a little uh, other skirt underneath and these longer bits I've seen this style in plenty of like average sized clothing brands and when I saw it on runway and plus size I knew I had to get it to try it out for you guys because this is such a cute skirt and I know so many people will like want it but maybe couldn't find it in their size Size. So yeah, this comes on around me. This is the 2XL and it's on backwards right now, but it has so much shearing in the back that it's very adjustable and stretchy, which is great because I have like some skirts like this from like Yes Style that have no shearing in it at all, which I don't like. Like I like the skirt, I just don't like that it doesn't have any shearing, but this has so much. Um, and the belt isn't real, it's just this little clip on the front. Um, you can make it a tiny bit tighter, but it's not a real belt. Are the pockets real? Y'all, what is it in plus size clothing and having real pockets? What? I never get real pockets in my normal clothes, but everything I've tried on today has real pockets. Y'all have been hiding something from us. Why do y'all get real pockets? Unfair. Anyways. I absolutely love this, but I am going to take off the skirt to try on the next couple things just because it is falling off. Okay, on to the next item. Item, or should I say items, because this next thing is a pajama set, which I actually wore last night to bed, if I'm going to be honest. I got this in a size 1XL, and the shorts fit lovely. I think they're super comfy. Um, they can draw string to fit probably pretty much anyone. Um, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. They are super stretchy and super uh, wide at the hips, so I think they'll fit a majority of people. Uh, the only thing in this, and I, I have this problem a lot with not even plus sized items, is that the tank top just does not fit on the top, but honestly, it's pajamas, it doesn't really matter. The only problem is if I'm not wearing a shirt underneath it like this, it's just, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, for reference, it goes out about like that much on the side, so it does have a lot of room. But yeah, I love the shorts. I love pajama shorts. They're so cute. On to the last and final item. Honestly, I'd be ready to go to the gym like this, hello. This last thing is just a plain basic white t-shirt that I got in a size zero XL. Once again, this is a freaking fantastic, just like basic piece that everyone needs in their wardrobe. Um, it is pretty good quality. The fabric is that like weird stretchy fabric. It's 64% polyester, 27% rayon, or 7% spandex. So it is really freaking stretchy, like really freaking stretchy. And it has a tie in the front, which does untie. Um, so yeah, that's how long it is untied and then you could tie it looser or tighter. I'm gonna tie it as tight as it goes. I also don't think you're supposed to tie it in a bow, <laughs> but I chose to tie it in a bow and I think it's kind of cute. So yeah, this is very versatile in size. As you can see, I just cinched it in so much and it fits me perfectly. I really like this, this is super cute. I can even imagine layering this with like overalls over the top of it or something and I think it would be really cute. So yeah, that is it for my Ramui plus size try on video. I hope this was helpful at least. I really don't know if it was. I just wanted to have some variation on my channel. I didn't want to be making haul videos just for like one size and group of people because there's so many different shapes and sizes. The sun just welcomed itself back into my life. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, also this necklace is from Romwe, but that'll be mentioned in a different haul video. But yeah, that is it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like this video by clicking the thumbs up. If you were subscribed already and you have not yet, click the bell below to turn on notifications so you're notified when I post. You can actually enjoy my content, join the party. As always, links to everything that I wore and tried on in this video will be in the description below for you to check out, as well as a coupon code to get you some money off. For if you order yourself some cute clothes. But remember, always check the thrift shop first and when you wanna get rid of clothes, don't throw them away, donate them. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, flop.